your local network. Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. Fire ripped through a former church in Tamaqua Saturday night. This was the scene just before midnight. Fire crews in Tamaqua were called to the area of Bow and Mahanoy streets for a smoke investigation. Shortly after arriving, they found the smoke coming from the former First Presbyterian Church on West Broad Street. Crews quickly updated the call to a working fire. The call ended up bringing a third alarm. About 100 firefighters from Tamaqua, Mac do Mahanoy City, Pottsville, Nesquahoning, Lansford, Summit Hill, and Coaldale will, were all brought in along with Tamaqua Ambulance and Rescue Squad, Ryan Township EMS, Lee Heighton ALS, and the Red Cross. The Schuylkill parcel locator lists the owner as Faces of the World Incorporated. Stephen Bennett, an artist, is the founder of the nonprofit. No one was in the building at the time of the fire. The fire under control by three Sunday morning. The cause of the fire has not yet been confirmed, and they're listing it for now as undetermined. A fire marshal from Reading was on the scene on Sunday. An accident on Interstate 81 this past Saturday sent one person to the hospital. The crash happened as John Batchard, who was driving a motorcycle, merged onto the interstate from the McAdoo exit number 138. Batchard was traveling behind a tractor trailer and due to the wind current lost control of the bike. He drifted into the passing lane and made contact with the truck. He was ejected from the bike and taken to the hospital for treatment of injuries. The driver of the truck not injured and according to a police report, Batchard was wearing a helmet at the time of that accident. Thunderstorms rolled through Luzerne County Sunday morning with lightning striking several buildings. Firefighters were also called to a home in Cunningham where lightning struck a utility pole knocking out the power. From there, firefighters went to the Churchill Mall where lightning struck two PPL poles outside Ollie's in the mall, knocking out one of the three-phase electric, causing an air conditioning unit to overheat and smoke within the building. Firefighters then answered the call for a fire at Silgan Closures. That's on JC Drive in the Valmont Industrial Park. The call later upgraded to a working fire in an oven at the plant. Today, the United States Attorney's Office for the Middle District of Pennsylvania announced 27-year-old Sean Christie of McAdoo was indicted by a federal grand jury. The charges come after Christie threatened to harm President Trump and law enforcement officers. According to United States Attorney David Freed, the indictment alleges that Christie posted the threats on Facebook between June 3rd and 12th of this year. It's alleged that Christie posted that he was going to shoot the president in the head and he was going to use lethal force on any law enforcement officers that attempted to detain him as a result of a bench warrant that had been issued for him. Last week, officials say they believed Christie broke into Hazelton Oil, stole a truck, and drove it to the Canadian border, where the truck was later found. This afternoon, the Pennsylvania Office of State Inspector General filed felony charges against a Schuylkill County police officer. The Inspector General says Minersville Borough Police Officer Ashley Michael, with fraudulently obtaining over $7,000 in Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program and Medical Assistance Benefits. According to the criminal complaint, Michael of Pottsville applied for benefits July 3rd, 2017. In her application, she reported no income. During an interview, she was advised it was her responsibility to report any change in income and to provide updated and accurate income information. Based on the information she provided, she was approved for the benefits. Investigators learned that in August of 2017, Michael was employed by the Minersville Police Department as a part-time parole officer, but she failed to report that. She was arraigned July 12th on the charges. 
Over the weekend, Hazleton City Police did a saturation patrol in a number of hot spots throughout the city. According to Police Chief Jerry Speziali, the department went to areas like Alter, Broad and Wyoming streets along with Diamond Avenue. The chief said the patrol worked very well and they only had one call for service. These patrols will go on throughout the summer and not just on the weekends. The chief says 10 officers on the detail dispersed a number of crowds from the areas patrolled. They also conducted a number of traffic stops. According to Chief Speziali, saturation patrols are proven to work to curb crime. State police at Frackville are asking for the public's help in finding those responsible for a burglary that happened June 22nd and 24th on 22 North Market Street. The thieves entered the building and stole nearly $1,000 worth of merchandise, along with causing about $45 worth of damage. Schuylkill County Crime Stoppers paying up to $1,000 for information that leads to the arrest of those responsible for the burglary. All information received will remain confidential. A standoff ended peacefully in Nanticoke on Sunday. Police were called to a home on Honeypot Street when a woman told them Richard Simon Jr. assaulted her and threatened her by pulling a gun. She was able to get out of the home and call officers. They set up a perimeter and evacuated several homes nearby. About an hour later, the 33-year-old gave up without incident. He was arraigned on a list of charges. A Hazleton taxi driver now faces charges in connection with an alleged road rage incident. Hazleton police were called to the 700 block of Lincoln Street around 6 o'clock Saturday evening. Investigators say it happened when another driver cut in front of 27-year-old Dalvin Rosario. That driver told officers Rosario got out and a verbal altercation turned physical and Rosario showed a gun. He's now in the Luzerne County Correctional Facility. Coming up on WILN News, WILN's Julia Wiegand has an update on the Tamaqua Bridge. Plus, earned income tax could be going up in Hazleton. But first, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. Some pop-up showers and thunderstorms overnight. The low muggy 70. A better chance of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow with a high of 81. Less humid, more sunny, and a high of 79 for Wednesday. We'll be right back. Chura's Auto Sales has been serving the area with quality vehicles since 1954. Chura's Auto Sales is known as your friendly dealer and now in their fourth generation and voted the best used car dealer by the readers of Standard Speaker Choice Awards. John Chura would like to thank everyone that voted for his business. When you need a quality pre-owned vehicle, choose from a large selection at Chura's 570-454-7229. Singing for Joy, the CD by the Sisters of Holy Annunciation Monastery, can be yours for just $13, which includes shipping and tax. Mail a check to Holy Annunciation Monastery, 430 West County Road in Sugarloaf, Pennsylvania, or call 570-788-1205. This 10-song CD can be yours for just $13. Pocono Raceway is summertime where the whole crew's invited. Where fans become friends. Where good times roll. And the racing is always a little tricky. Bring your friends. Bring your family. Just bring it. Pocono style. Although driving detours have taken over US 209 West Broad Street in Tamaqua, local businesses there are still going strong. WILN's Julia Wiegand stopped by to check things out. 
construction that's had US 209 and West Broad Street closed off in Tamaqua is really starting to show progress. The just over $2 million project began June 6th of this year to replace the bridge over Wabash Creek in the borough. Local businesses located around the road closure have been surrounded by fences ever since. When construction began, the detours seemed confusing, which made La Dolce Casa nervous during the first two weeks. Now, a little over a month into construction, the restaurant hasn't seen any negative impact on business. We've actually been watching the progress from the very beginning, and they've been moving very quickly. They've been doing an amazing job. At first, they were working 24 hours right around the clock. It would get to be nighttime, and they would kind of put the stadium lights up and continue working all through the night just to make sure that they were really sticking to that deadline. And as you'll see now, they're kind of filling in everything and ready to wrap things up. So. August 19th was their original deadline to be finished, and I really think that there's a good possibility that they may get it finished before that. So definitely they've been doing a fantastic job of really trying to get Tamaqua back to business as usual. So we're very grateful for that. Waitress Jennifer Paisley believes for the most part that the town sees the construction as positive for the community, just by getting people out walking around and seeing everything Tamaqua has to offer that they might have not seen driving. I know I can speak for everyone here at La Dolce Casa that we're very grateful for the support that the town, the community, and all of our patrons have been giving us during, we know it's a little bit difficult to get here, but everybody's been amazing. Um, so we're definitely grateful that they have continued to coming in, even though it's a little bit harder for them than it has been in the past. Although West Broad Street will be open again next month, construction between PA 309 and Hunter Street will have daytime lane restrictions until the project's completion, which is likely August of next year. Reporting from Tamaqua for WYLN News, I'm Julia Wiegand. If you own property in the city of Hazleton, you may be paying higher property taxes next year. Hazleton Mayor Jeff Cassatt said a raise in taxes may be necessary to plug up a shortfall in the city's pension account. The mayor said the city may end this year with about $300,000 in outstanding bills, even though he and city administrator Dan Lynch say they believe the city will end with $140,000 on hand. Cassatt said the city must pay the full pension contribution, not the 75 percent like it did in years past. The city could see a rise in the earned income tax from 1.35 percent this year to 1.75 percent if a Luzerne County judge signs off on the raise. The mayor also said the administration team is working on a number of revenue sources that will pitch to council in the next month or two in order to minimize a raise in taxes. Last week, Hazleton Council voted on the first reading of a new ordinance that would regulate yard sales. Council passed the first reading five to nothing. The new ordinance allows for five yard sales. You will now be required to get a permit, but the first three permits are free. The cost for the fourth and fifth, five dollars. So what we're seeing as far as the yard sales, we're seeing people make a business out of it. I mean, there's yard sales every week, every day. You know, we have no problem. People have yard sales. We gave three times a year free. But when it becomes a business, we got neighbors complaining that there's a problem with parking. We got signs left up. So I think it's at the point where we got to regulate it. I mean, so I think it was more than fair to say you could have three yard sales. There is no cost. Councilman Gavio said the city does receive a number of complaints about yard sales that seem to go on for days. If anyone is in violation of the ordinance, they could be subject to a $100 fine for the first offense. The ordinance will have to be voted on for a second and third reading at Council's August meeting. Catholic households in the Allentown Diocese will be receiving a letter in the mail addressing the state grand jury report on abuse in the church. The letter from Bishop Alfred Schlert was released Friday and sent to over 80,000 homes in the diocese. A grand jury spent two years listening to testimony about sexual abuse of children by priests. According to the report, it is now being held up by a state Supreme Court. The Allentown Diocese stated earlier it did not object to the report's release. Bishop Schlert went on to say in the letter that the diocese has done absolutely nothing to delay or block the report or support anyone who's trying to do so. The bishop also wrote that it is his sincere wish to have the report released as soon as possible. He's also praying for the victims on their path to healing. 
Congressman Lou Barletta and Senator Bob Casey released fundraising totals to the Federal Election Commission. The deadline to file those reports was today. Casey's campaign raised $2.2 million over the past three months, bringing his total to $9.8 million. Congressman Barletta raised $1.28 million over the last quarter, putting him at $1.6 million to pay in the race against Casey. Barletta has been trailing Casey both financially and in public polls. Vice President Mike Pence is scheduled to head to a fundraiser for Barletta July 23rd in Philadelphia. Former head of the UK Independence Party, Nick Farage, will also be supporting Barletta. That will happen at an event at Harvey's Lake on Friday. Coming up on Middletown's News Choice, time for the red carpet breakfast. We'll have the details in Community and You, plus race tickets. But first, let's take a look at today's winning midday lottery numbers. Good luck if you played. Stay with us. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim, ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money saving technology can save you 25 to 50% on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialist, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. It's okay that everybody ignores me when I drive. It's fine, because I get a safe driving bonus check every six months I'm accident free. Because I don't use my cell phone when I'm driving, even though my family does and leaves me all alone. Here's something else. I don't share it with mom. Right, mom? I have a brand new putter you don't even know about. It's awesome. Safe driving bonus checks only from Allstate. Switching to Allstate is worth it. Visit your local Allstate agent, the McNeilis Agency in Hazleton at 1092 North Church Street, or in hometown in the hometown village square. Attention, WYLN viewers, WYLN TV can now be seen on the Hazleton Service Electric Cablevision HD tier, channel 507, and over the air at 35.1. WYLN, we're your local network. WYLN TV 35 is looking to hire a highly motivated, energetic salesperson for the Hazleton, Wilkes-Barre, and surrounding areas. Send your resume to the email or the address on your screen. WYLN is an equal opportunity employer. Welcome to Community and you here on WYLN. Everyone, I'm Gary Pern. I'm with Mary Malone, President of the Greater Hazelden Chamber of Commerce. And we're going to talk about the red carpet breakfast coming up in July with State Representative Tara Tuhill. Post-budget, we are now getting into the new fiscal year for Harrisburg and for the state. So we'll get all those great updates from Tara, what we can expect, uh, what some things have changed, if they are affecting our area and really affecting the business's community as a whole. So Mary, this is a great opportunity, especially if your businesses um, kind of work with government and or you just kind of want to know what's going on. Yeah. Especially, like I said, the July one, and we're so happy that we have Representative Two Hill in the July spot this year, again, to give us that bird's eye insider view of some of the conversations and, and what's happening um, at the Capitol. So not only for her committees, uh, but for others. So this is generally uh, a good one. Again, not only chamber members, but anyone um, on the outside. And we're very happy that Four Blooms Restaurant will be hosting. So it's kind of a good central location for the Greater Hazelton area um, again on Thursday July 19th so those you need to register for those ahead of time so we can give our good friends at uh, at four blooms advance notice again but you don't have to be a chamber member that is open to anyone um, and we're looking forward to a good turnout and this is part of uh, many series of red carpets you guys through, do throughout the year not only on, on legislators who are in the 
area, but you know, we also had the mayor, we have some local businesses who also take turns and, and talk about really what they do in, in the greater Hazleton area. And you know what, Gary, people, two things again, that always happen kind of the before and after of red carpet breakfast that I can't um, stress enough. Most of the legislators stay and they also have their staff with them. So if you have an individual question, even before the meeting and their formal presentation to stay afterwards to talk to them. Um, and again, those question and answer in a small intimate setting with a business focus mm -hmm. event is important and key. Um, and the other piece to it is sometimes that networking before that happens as far as what other businesses and whatnot are going to come and attend. So again, critical pieces to continuing for the success of not only the community at large, but your particular business. All right, wonderful. Again, uh, July 19th out of four blooms. If you want to register, Hazelton Chamber's website has all the information for you to go on and register uh, to attend the Red Carpet Breakfast with State Representative Tara Tuhill. Mary, thanks so much for joining me out here in the beautiful weather we're having. Gary, I like this. I, I think we're going to have to keep this trend up. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe next time we'll go downtown. We'll be in downtown. Okay, I think deal maybe? for August. All right, for August. Thanks for joining us here on Community and You, everyone. We'll see you next time on WYLN. Appliances are right over there, and this is part of our furniture department. Okay, but I'm looking for a mattress. Well, you've come to the right place. Grand Central is Northeast Pennsylvania's number one Sealy mattress dealer. We have Sealy mattress sets from only $199 and Stearns and Foster Queen sets from only $45 per month. We also have interest refinancing up to 60 months. And remember, delivery and takeaway are absolutely free. So we don't have to do anything? Not if you buy your Sealy mattress at Grand Central. It looks like I did find the right place to buy a Sealy mattress. Grand Central and Hazleton. The right all Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. A sense of self-worth of purpose after war. It can be found by having the courage to learn new things and experience new adventures. We develop confidence through accomplishment. If you're a combat veteran struggling with the scars of war, consider getting into the outdoors. The outdoors has really helped me cope and it just might help you too. Get out of the house, experience life and the healing power of nature. Watch Staff Sergeant Olson heal the wounds of war through outdoor activities. Watch Warrior Summit Outdoors. The owners of the former Lakewood Park property were given permission by the Ryan Township supervisors to change the residential status to commercial. A public hearing was held back in May about changing the zoning status on the 53-acre property. On July 10th, the supervisors requested the owners provide $4,000 in an escrow account to pay for the township's expenses. Owners Lauren, Patty, and Andrew Roth plan to use the land to build a venue for special events and create a camping area on that property in Barnesville. Are you ready? Tonight, WILN giving you a chance to be entered into a drawing to win a four pack of tickets to go see the Gander Outdoors 400 race at the Tricky Triangle in person. The race is next weekend, July 27th through the 29th, and all you have to do is call 570-459-1869, extension 1172. Make sure you leave your name, your town, and most importantly, your phone number. You'll be entered into the, entered into the I'm so excited, drawing for the tickets. Winners will be selected at random. Dial carefully, call now, and good luck. Stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WYLN News. The 34th annual Benton Frontier Days and Championship Rodeo, July 17th through the 22nd. Bull riding, calf roping, bareback bronc riding, and more. Tuesday is the Fun Horse Show. Wednesday is 3D Barrel Riding. Thursday through Saturday is Championship Rodeo. And don't miss Bullarama Sunday. The show starts at 7.30. Entertainment starts at 5. Vendors, crafts, and great tasting food. The Benton Rodeo, Route 487 in Benton. Come early, stay late. For more information, go to bentonrodeo.com. 
For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road, Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicapped accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. There are packages available to fit anyone's budget, restaurant, and catering on site. Our facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor, and private parties. Call 570-384-2314. WYLN programming is online all the time. Visit our website at WYLNTV.com to watch archived shows and a live stream of our broadcast shows. And don't forget to visit all of our social media pages for breaking news, weather, and sports. WYLN, we're your local network. Attention, WYLN viewers. WYLN TV can now be seen on the Hazleton Service Electric Cablevision HD tier, channel 507, and over the air at 35.1. WYLN, we're your local network. WYLN CA 35's children's programming is designed with the specific purpose of serving the educational and informational needs of children. In compliance with FCC guidelines, a copy of the children's programming report is on file for public inspection at WYLN 1057 East 10th Street in Hazleton, Pennsylvania during normal business hours. To view the report online, visit FCC.org.
You're watching Mountain Tops Choice for news, weather, and live local sports. WYLN, we're your local network.